So I, I, like I said, I was a knucklehead, always getting arrested. And a couple, a couple times weren't my fault. I got assaulted and I defended myself too good, and the other person got the worst of it. And I got arrested. It's like, what world do we live in? You know, that, that's some bullshit. So mm-hmm. I got the case harass. I got to drop down ten thousand. It cost me harassment too, not a crime, a, a violation, not a crime. Okay. I wanted to fight it further. The guy's like, it's gonna cost more money. This is a great deal. So I took it. I remember I was working at UPS East New York, Cleveland, right off of Dumont. And my sister calls me, and she's reading my mail from this law firm. And I'm like, hold on, I'm getting sued? So I call the law firm up that I use. Like, yeah, 35000 for the civil lawyer. I'm like, it was ten for the criminal. I'm like, this cocksucker. You know what I mean? So, it's crazy. And I was, he was suing me in the bar. I was like, you hit me. You know what I mean? Like, I had, to go to, I had to go to the hospital to get my own blood off my face before I went to Central Bookings. That should be dismissed right away. Like, this guy got hit first. Like, I had my arms down. It was my friend that hit, blasted me out of nowhere. You know, that and. Then he got laced up. <laughs> and uh, so I'm like, 35000 No one got their packages that day. <laughs> For like the next 10 minutes, just info notice, launching the package in the back of the truck. I was so fucking, 35000 I couldn't get out of my own way. Of probably lost a bunch of money gambling. Then a guy from work, 10 minutes later, like a godsend from my dad in heaven. Hey, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm fucking working. What are you doing? He's like, oh, you, you ever think of settling down one day? And I'm like, what kind of stupid quote? Well, yeah, maybe if I re- find the right girl. He goes, oh, what about my cousin? I'm like, oh, shit. One door closes, another one opens. I'm like, I need actually 35000 But they only they offered me ten, And, uh, you know, we got married and we had to go to Water Street or whatever, downtown uh, Manhattan yeah. by the Brooklyn Bridge over there. And, like... <laughs> so, <laughs> it didn't last long like the night we, was, we had a bachelor party like okay so where is this girl from the Columbia she- hot she was hot you know what I mean maybe okay. not like a 10 but she was she was a Colombian bro you know she's hot like you ever see an ugly one like oh that's my uh, ugly Colombian cousin like no they're always hot it's you know true. what I mean they're pumping yeah. out hot trim down there you know <laughs> <laughs> and um so the night we're supposed to consummate all love you know, I, uh, sure. Okay. The, the night before, I'm out at this place called the Catholic Club in the neighborhood. You know okay. what I mean? Not sure you have to be a Catholic member, Catholic to be there, but there weren't a lot of Jewish people walking around. You know, we're up to nine, ten o'clock in the morning doing blow my friend's bartender. It's a social oh, club. Hold on. You're doing coke at a place called the Catholic Club. Is this like a Catholic <laughs> church? Like, and you no, guys- it's right across the street. It's like a, a social club. Yeah, I have never heard anything. And I think Mike they donate to the church. To, like when in you Boston, it, when there's you no call- like Catholic. Drinking Coke spots. Like, hey, are you super Catholic but also like to binge on Coke and black out? Well, the, the, Were Coke, the priests there? No, 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 no. But I think a lot of the proceeds, like, they have Go good, to the Catholic. Yeah, okay. They, yeah, when you called it the Catholic Club, I could see Mike's eyes. He was like, now this sounds like a place. This that I would is hang total out. corruption. First of all, he goes, no, no, all the proceeds from our alcoholism go back to the. And, Monday Night Football, they run su- football boxes. Anytime there's they, during the Super Gambling. Bowl, a lot okay. of a lot of Super Bowl boxes yeah. there, like tables with ladies set up with Super Bowl this boxes. Is church gambling. <laughs> what, yeah, this is a whole. This is always a, a different animal. This you is know? Ra- this is very. I've never heard anything like that. I think well. as long as the money goes to God, it doesn't matter how you get it. That's what I say, right? <laughs> That's so what it, so anyway, about. you're you're out there. So the I'm Catholic at the club. The, the Catholic club. This is your and, bachelor party. No, the bachelor party went to Atlantic City. Okay. All and right. uh, we drank abstinence, that blue shit from, like, Europe. That's yeah. illegal. Yeah, supposed to be the Van Gogh cut your ear off. That's yeah, what it was pretty wild. Good girl, Carly. Uh, but uh, the, the night before, I'm supposed to consummate the love of, of my, my future wife. Okay. I'm at the Catholic club. It's, like, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. I go home, and Coke just makes you horny as fuck. You know what I mean? So I put on the fucking, the porno, the sun's coming up, I'm sweating, shirt comes off, one sock, two sock, box of shorts, and I'm just slapping around this fucking loose linguine, chasing this nut, you know, and I'm slapping it around, and I'm fucking going. Next thing you know, I hear, like, the neighbor mowing the lawn. Like, the day's going on as I'm chasing this nut, probably watching war- weird porno, and, like, finally, it just dribbles out. I'm like, finally, and I look down, it looks a little red and irritated. I'm like, fuck, she's coming here in three hours i gotta go to bed so i lay down i wake up there was an indian burn on my dick like oh my look like God, aids dude. and herpes had a kid i'm like fuck what am i supposed to do how am i gonna do with an english spanish dictionary like hey you know your gross domestic product oh, i was up doing that all night <laughs> <laughs> then i came home and i indian burned my dick like you know what I mean? how do i explain to this in broken english so she I had a plan wait she didn't really speak english no i had an english spanish dictionary like this is i only got like an email like 
it's it's fairly recent now, but like I was really I was like 15 years late to the game. Like you know what I mean? Like I didn't use internet and stuff. Like I was out drinking and selling and doing blow. Like, I wasn't fucking <laughs> online. Like I I didn't know it was those Google Translate or this is going back a couple of years. Holy so I had the shit. English Spanish dictionary. She loved that song, Jay Holiday, put you to bed. I made her some pasta. My plan was to go in the room. Not tell her about this Indian bird on my dick. Oh, my God. Kiss her, get hard, throw a condom on, try to fuck her, and then next time really give it to her hard. <laughs> it didn't work, and then she went MIA because the drinking, the coke, the, the gambling. She'd rather face deportation than stay married <laughs> to me. And she went missing. <laughs> she went missing. Do you have any idea where she is now? Well, that's where the African committee comes in. <laughs> Again, Dude. again, <laughs> another another mysterious group in the big team. Yeah. Dude, Our, your life, dude. You the just, Catholic drinking you spot. Also, you, you you throw these things out like this African committee, as if everybody <laughs> knows what that what you're talking well, about. So are I'm these just guys like, like, like private investigators? No, well, again, I remember this time I was on like Avenue B and ninety something Street in Canarsie. My sister calls me, Thomas, Thomas. These people are here looking for you. I'm like, what? I'm like, what, what do they look like? White a, white, a lady and a, a man, you know, in white people in suits. I'm like, fuck, these are detectives. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, fuck. White want- people in suits. <laughs> Cops. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, find out what the fuck they want. They're like, oh, no, no, they're looking for Sandra Ramirez Farrell. <laughs> and my mom would get the mail because all the, yeah. you had to like start building memories and shit. You know, they get the other half of the check, the Che- not check the payment, you know? Yes, yes, yes. And she's like, who's Sandra Ramirez Farrell? I'm like, ah, oh, probably wrong delivery address. <laughs> not my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm like, find out what that is. They're like, oh, they're looking for Sandra Ramirez Farrell. They gave me a business card. I go home that night. I get my mail. I get this business card, the African committee. I'm like, what the hell is this about? So whatever. It wasn't the cops, so I wasn't worried. I was like, yeah. home the next day. This girl who I was friends with benefits at the time, yeah. she's cool. She knew the whole deal. Uh, she she uh, types in friend, uh, African committee into the iPad. She just went like this. And I'm standing, I'm like, I look at it. African committee helping immigrants with AIDS since 1994. I'm like, fuck. So now I'm trying to hold a straight face that I don't have AIDS because I, I didn't wear a condom when I fucked it, you know? So oh my God. She didn't fuck me that night, but the next day I call. I'm calling on the way to work, calling, calling, calling. They don't open until like nine, whatever, like normal business hours, but I'm freaking out because I don't want to have AIDS, you know what I mean? Like, so I call him. I'm like, hey, it's uh, Tom Farrow. It's uh, Sandra, uh, the lady, blah, blah, blah. She's like, I'm like, is my wife okay? Is everything okay? She's like, yeah, yeah. Sir, this is what we normally handle, but it's a grant through uh, immigrants displaced on Staten Island through Sandy, blah blah blah, and uh, uh, we're here to help immigrants displaced. And they're, they're, through this grant, I was going to get a divorce. I'm like, hey, have her call me. She's like, no, no. I'm like, please just ask her to call me. She calls me. I pull over the truck. The broken English was better. This shit was so hot. Sounded like Melani Trump. I fucking loved it. It was getting me hard. Oh my you know, that God. broken English is a... Mwah. So I'm like, hey, how you doing? She's like, hey, good dumb, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, hey. <laughs> and on the spot, that's how my brain thinks. I said, listen. I go, listen, we're going to say we moved in together. Sandy came, destroyed all our stuff. We threw away all our memories. The new house we lived in, we had to live with people. That's when the marriage started falling apart. And now we want a divorce, so we don't have to prove anything. And yeah, I want the other yeah, half yeah. of the money because I'm still broke. I'm a degenerate gambler. We're getting arrested. And she's like, Tom, it's a great idea, but I moved on, blah, blah, blah. And long story short, the African committee, I needed like a third person. They met me by my building, signed the paperwork. Divorced. Got divorced. Wow. How old no are you? No AIDS. Knock on wood. Thank God. That's always yes. a tough one. Guys, if you're watching this, 